Hi, I'm Jim Austin Jimages. We're in the Bahamas on an 86 degree day in February. We're going ashore to try and find a blue hole so we can do some slow photography. Come on along. After a short hike, we found the blue hole. The rock all around it is limestone. The water itself is salt water and it's tidal, so there's a high tide line and a low tide line because this is ocean water coming into the center of the island here in the blue hole. We're going to take our time with a slow photography and look for some nature and close up subjects with the macro lens. Come on along. So I've come back to the blue hole in the Bahamas for more slow photography. Some people like to think of slow photography in terms of the length of the exposure or what kind of gear you use. I think of it in terms of your awareness, your attitude, and your enthusiasm for slowing down and taking your time. Regardless of whether you're using digital or film, slow photography is about your attitude and your awareness of beautiful pictures that you can make anywhere, anytime. I find one of the most compelling parts of slow photography is getting close to the ground and looking at things I wouldn't ordinarily try to see. This morning, by the edge of the blue hole, I was surprised to find a small spider in the center of its web waiting for insects up from the water's edge. Another benefit of the tripod is the rock-solid stability next to the water line. There are reflections and a lot of water subjects here for slow photography, so the camera and the gear are locked down now on the tripod at water level in a position I couldn't otherwise get to without the tripod. So the two beautiful things about slow photography that I like are it gives me a chance to be aware, to enhance my awareness of where I am and the surroundings and also in a deliberate way to pay attention to uh, what I'm doing step by step. I hope you've enjoyed it today. Check the links below for more on the Blue Hole and more on slow photography. This is Jim Austin Jimages. Thank you.